Uh, this is Channing Humphrey with Semi Pro Live. I'm out here with the victorious coach of the North Texas Titans. Uh, coach, I don't want to mispronounce your name, so I'm going to go ahead and let you introduce yourself because I was going to say Dozer, but I was not sure. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, Roger Dozer. All right, man. So tell us a little bit more about this organization. Where do you guys hail from? Uh, if we want to get in contact with you, how do we do so? And tell us the result of your regular season. All right, so we, we're basically from all over DFW Metroplex with the North Texas Titans. Uh, we represent the Louisville Football Association. Um, this year we were the city, championship, uh, city champions, uh, undefeated regular season, and the AYF regional champions. Um, we went down to the Nationals this past weekend in Florida at AYF and got fifth overall out of 16 teams. So real successful season. Uh, got to give all the credit to the boys and the coaches uh, that I have on this staff, 100%. No doubt about it. Now, real question, uh, with a team as successful as this one where you guys are used to winning, how do you keep your team and along with your team, the parents engage through these holiday times and COVID. Well, competition is the first thing that we preach over here at this team. Uh, every single player, everybody knowing that they have a role on this football team and, and everybody contributing. So competition, you know, that's going to bring the best out of everybody. So these boys lock in. They hungry football players. This is the game that they love and it's the game they chose to play. So they give 100 percent out there. So it's easy when, they, when you get that type of uh, uh, um, with players that want to give everything that they have. Absolutely. Now, before I get over here to the stars of the show, I have one question I always ask all my coaches. What was the lesson that you wanted to install into your boys as they got ready for this tournament this week? Man, go hard. We asked for uh, we asked for football players, not kids that wanted to play football, but we asked for actual football players. Uh, we just preach uh, as, with 24 players deep uh, during the regular season. We asked we had 24 leaders on the football team. That's all we want: leadership amongst our, our, uh, our players and then a brotherhood. That's it, and they stay motivated on their own. They they bring out the best in each other. So all credit to them. All right. Well, hey, this was a very lopsided win, so we're going to slide over here to the stars of the show. We got number eight, number 33, and number 32. I'm going to let them introduce themselves, and they're going to give you their Instagrams, hashtag gamer uh, handles, things of that nature. Terrell Reynolds. Xavier Brown. Dominic Walker. All right, man. Now, you were able to apply pressure on both sides of the ball today. Now, tell the folks at home, what did it actually go into you being such an effective two-way athlete? Heart. Hey, I like when they keep it simple. The best answers are often that way. Now, over here at running back, man, you came out. I saw, I saw the, you know, your gear was right. I thought you was going to be a pretty boy. You were impressive with your hard nose running in between the tackles. So what led up to you being so successful with those hard nose running plays and able to run up those yak yards as the game went on? My team pushes me every day at practice. You got to run hard and don't go nowhere. All right, and over to my favorite, the big man up front. Now, you guys were dominant on both sides of the ball. The defensive line harassed the quarterback all day. They could never get anything going. And then on the offensive line, you guys were solid, not really giving up any quarterback pressures the entire day, despite in the first quarter when your defense was having a little difficulty getting on the same page. What did it? Le what did coaching staff do to motivate you guys for such a performance? They, they just wanted, but wanted us to be better than what we usually are, so we always did it. All right, man. Now, we got the other teams getting ready to set up a big-time matchup after this one. Before we let you go, do you guys have any final messages for the league or some of your future opponents? Watch out. Well, hey, that'll be the final word. I'm going to go ahead and get out the way and let the Titans break it out. Congratulations on your victory. You're watching Semi-Pro Live. Titans up on me. Titans up on three. One, two, three. Titans up! Woo! Thank you.